How you're supposed to open packages like this? Oh, okay. Wow. Now I feel stupid. <laughs>
Hello. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna get right into it and talk about Squid Game because oh my gosh. I don't know where to start. Here's the thing. It's not for children. It's not for faint-hearted people. You know what I'm trying to say, okay? It's like rated R, I think. Anyway, I really enjoyed it because uh, first of all, ever since I finished watching it, I've been recommending it to my friends non-stop and I've been telling people to just watch it. I'll, like give the first episode a chance because if you watch the first episode you'll be able to i guess get the gist of what it's about you know i don't want to tell you what it's about because i do think it's a lot more interesting and a lot more effective if you go into it not really knowing anything but again it's rated r proceed with caution i just want to talk about the aesthetic and the set and how beautiful everything was the places they were put in like i know everything was artificial but you can tell that the staff or the design team or it's the production had a lot of fun creating this whole place or this arena or whatever it's you know the cinematography it reminded me a lot of um wes anderson's movies especially the grand budapest hotel there were a lot of plot twists a lot of them didn't surprise me because after the first episode i was guarded except the ending okay because the ending was just i did not expect that well my brother did but i didn't i love series like that i love movies and shows that really surprise me even though i was able to predict a lot of the things that did happen they were executed really well so i still really enjoyed it one thing i realized after watching it though um was the very gigantic red herring um if you don't know what a red herring is basically something that distracts the audience or the person from the main issue okay so i'm gonna put a spoiler here okay this is gonna be a spoiler the addition of the brother and the detective and a lot of the issues that happened behind Behind the scenes were just added so we wouldn't pay much attention to the actual players especially the old man because i mean come on with all that was happening behind the scenes and the game and the drama with some of um the players the last thing you're gonna think about would be the old man and what possible motives he could have playing this game because he had a pretty decent story i don't know if you've all noticed but there really wasn't any background story with the old man because the others did their squad all had stories except for the old man but yeah um squid game so what else did i watch oh when i'm stressed or when i'm I guess feeling overwhelmed and tired i play cartoons in the background i guess i just like let it play there while i'm doing whatever i'm doing because i don't know i feel like cartoons are really light-hearted and they take my mind off a lot of heavy things wow i like how i'm talking about this right after squid game but i mean if you decide to watch squid game you might need <laughs> some wholesome light-hearted content anyway i heart arlo it's so cute it's a lot deeper than I thought because a lot of cartoons are just like silly and stuff but this one I feel like every single episode has some sort of message to it, it says something about self-care and kindness and self-love and patience you know what I mean? It's a really nice series to show children and maybe not even just children maybe even adults because when you grow up you kind of forget you know a lot of core things like taking care of yourself having alone time and setting boundaries well actually i guess you learn all those things when you grow up but it's always nice to have reminders for all that and it's also really cute and the songs are great they're not the type of songs that you'd hear in cartoons i highly recommend check it out just watch an episode and see how it makes you feel next um an anime that i've been meaning to watch for a while now well not a while it came out recently kemono jihen i'm not sure if that's how you say it basically this is about a child who's not completely human is that what it said in the synopsis i don't know but i watched it without really knowing what it's about it reminds me of hunter x hunter well not really but i guess the cast reminds me of hunter x hunter because it's composed of mostly children it's fun give it a shot if you're looking for a new anime because it really is very cute um another series i was so uh, i 
that surprised me, I guess. Downton Abbey. And I've been meaning to watch this for the longest time because it's it's Regency drama, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, I played it while I was cleaning my room because I'm actually in the process of um, moving very, very slowly. But I was cleaning my room and um, I was playing Downton Abbey because I just wanted something in the background. But I ended up <laughs> becoming really immersed with the story and i started to care for all the characters and i wanted to know what happens next i'm in the third season now and i started watching it two days ago i think or was it yesterday <laughs> i just have a really soft spot for this time period because with a lot of the books i read i notice that my favorites are set in this time period which is the early 1800s oh no it's not the 1800s it's the early 1900s and the 1800s actually i like reading about those too basically i just like old historical drama fiction i was very pleasantly surprised so if you're into that then i highly recommend so we can talk about it in the comments <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop. Anyway, let's talk about some of the things I've been reading. I haven't been reading. It's only been a week since my last vlog. I mean, that's like a, an accomplishment for me because I usually like post vlogs every month. I apologize, but here we are. Anyway, so I finished Positively Yours and this is a webtoon or a webcomic that I've been following for a while now and it finally finished and I didn't want to talk about it until I finished it because, you know, maybe I didn't like it. Thoughts could have changed. Anyway, I loved it. It's so wholesome and very healthy. It's a very healthy, non-toxic romance. You, you know? So if you're into that, I mean, <laughs> feel free to read it. The art style is gorgeous and the characters... Well, I mean, I actually really like the second couple. I forgot their names, but the second couple, I really like them. I like the main couple too. I like almost everything about it. Anyways, the book I read, or I'm reading, is Red, White, and Royal Blue. I'm reading this with my best friend for September. I haven't gotten very far, but so far I do enjoy a lot of the bickering and a lot of... <laughs> I guess a lot of the funny comments. I didn't expect it to be quite funny. But yeah, that's really all that I've been doing. Well, not that. I mean, I could talk about school, but who wants to talk about school? Please let me know if you have any webcomic recommendations for me or if you have any series similar to Downton Abbey because I really like it. I didn't think that I'd like it that much, but I do. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, whenever that may be. Bye!